Hello, everybody. Five Tyler here at Red Barn Productions. And if you are a new content creator over on YouTube and you're live streaming, then this video is for you. Uh, I ran into something today that I didn't know about. And uh, now, for, I've known for a, a while that your live stream hours do not contribute to your, your 4,000 watch time hours that you need to become monetized. If you're not monetized, and, you, and you're doing a lot of streaming, those hours will never count. Uh, you'll have to create content, upload it, meet the requirements for the subscribers and the watch hours, and then once you meet that criteria and you become monetized, any live streaming hours from that point forward will count. But from, from that point back, it will never count. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I've known that for a pretty good while. So, so be aware that if you're you're creating a lot of content and, uh, live and you're live streaming it to YouTube in the hopes of becoming monetized, you will never get there if that's all you're doing. You'll you'll need to take and edit that video and upload it, uh, and and hopefully get enough views that way to become monetized. Uh, I had a friend do it in three months uh, once we figured out how to uh, how the system was working because I got monetized. Uh, several years ago and, and I lost my monetization when they had that all that scandal going on with the uh, PewDiePie and, and uh, the Logan brothers and all that and, and YouTube took that opportunity to change the requirements and they didn't grandfather us little people and they just oh well you don't meet them no more you're out of here you, you have to start over which was entirely unfair and uh, but that's what they did that's how they did it we've talked about this in other videos and uh, you can go check those out in, past, in my video section. Anyway, I went to watch a live stream. And I ran across this. This is something I have never seen before. And I've been on YouTube ever since YouTube started. Uh, video unavailable. If a channel has less than 1,000 subscribers, we limit the number of live viewers. Learn more. I click to learn more. And it, and it talks off about creating a live stream on a mobile, Android, or iPhone, and iPad. And this is the requirements. To live stream on a mobile, you'll need at least 50 subscribers. No live streaming restrictions within the last 90 days on your channel. You need to verify your channel. Uh, you need to enable live streaming. And you may need to wait 24 hours before you can start your first live stream. If you have under 1,000 subscribers, to help make YouTube a safe community for everyone, we may limit the number of viewers on your mobile live stream. And your arch of live stream will be set to private by default. Not only are they going to limit the amount of viewers on the live stream itself, they're, they're going to make sure that nobody sees that live stream once you end the live stream. Uh, and I don't think this is just on mobile devices. I think this is across the board, folks. So be, 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 be aware and go check your settings and stuff. Now, what I re recommend you doing, let's go to my YouTube. And I usually do stuff like this when I'm live anyway. Go to your YouTube studio. Go to content. Click live. Usually the video that's live will be the very first video right here and you can click edit it. And you can edit all that information while it is live. Uh, you can come in here. You can enter all your, this information. Uh, and I recommend that you come over here to where it says visibility. And you it, it set that to public. And then click save. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, wait until you end the live stream. End that live stream. Come down to where I'll find one. I've got some that are unlisted. Click the edit button. Come back over to where it says uh, private. Because in your case, it's going to say private. And, and change that to public and click save and see if it'll save it public. That way people can discover that video after you have ended the live stream. I also recommend that you come over here and you click that download button 
and you download it and click save. Make your edits if you need to. Re-upload it. Re-upload it. Come in, put all your, your information in here, set it to public, and that way people will be able to find it. And if you re-upload that live stream as a regular video, those watch time hours will contribute to your 4,000 watch time hours that you need to become monetized. I hope that helps. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a way to go test some of the what I'm telling you because I don't have a, a, a new account with no subscribers or 50 whatever. And I don't feel like creating one just to, just to figure that out. Go, but do go by all means try what I'm saying and make sure that you uh, get those set to public. If it will not let you save it as public, download the video, re-upload it, and save that video as public, and, and that way those hours will count towards your watch time hours. I, I know that part to be true because, like I said, I helped a friend of mine do it in three months once we figured out that the watch time hours don't count. Anyway, this is Vitaly here at Red Marm Productions. I hope this helps. Uh, until next time, y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world, and I'm out of here.